Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a video that I've actually been excited to film and I've actually been waiting to watch this video myself for about, I wanna say six months. So why have I been waiting to watch this video for six months if I'm the one who's recording it? Well, it's because about six months ago, I underwent my first treatment for laser hair removal for my chin. That is not my chin. <laughs> One day I went to the doctor because I realized that the hair on my lip and my chin was actually growing at an alarming rate. Not like I had a full beard or a mustache or anything like that, but I was having to pluck, wax, or shave a combination of all three, like maybe every other two to three days. And then eventually it got so bad that I'd have to shave every single day. It was really embarrassing and I really hated having hair there, and so I decided to start doing laser hair removal. When I went to the doctor, they kind of diagnosed me with PCOS, which stands for Polycystic Ovarian Syndrome. Now, I don't know much about PCOS, but I do know that one of the common side effects from having PCOS is having male pattern hair growth, so AKA upper lip, mustache, and chin area. So I decided to do research on ways that I could get rid of the hair, and it looks like I'd have to go back on birth control, which I have an IUD right now, so I don't really want to take the pill, slash can't take the pill, and I don't want to take the pill. Another option was laser hair removal. And I thought this might be really cool, but one, I was afraid of the pain, and two, I found research that said that laser hair removal does not work on people who have PCOS because while they can zap the hair follicle all they want, the main problem with the hair growth is that you have a hormone imbalance and those hormones will still be there even if you zap the hair away. I decided to consult an esthetician at Spa Derma Med Spa here in Chicago. They have a location in Lincoln Park and in the West Loop if you're familiar with Chicago. But I talked to Nikki who is an esthetician there at the spa and she told me that she has seen success with people with PCOS and laser hair removal. So I decided to make myself a guinea pig and do laser hair removal and see what might happen. The treatment itself at Spa Derma for small areas, aka my upper lip and my chin, costs about $250. Now that can change or vary, but that's about what the treatment cost. But I thought if this is going to remove my hair truly, this is totally worth it. And in my opinion, $250 is not that bad. So like I said, six months ago, I did it. And after the first treatment, I was told that I may see my hair grow back pretty quickly because it would maybe go through a growth spurt or it would be shocked or something like that. But I actually was pretty hair free a couple of weeks after my very first treatment. With the severity and the thickness of my hair, we decided to go with six treatments, which is actually pretty average and I think pretty comprehensive for laser hair removal on your face. But after my first treatment, a couple weeks later, I noticed that my hair was pretty much gone. I couldn't believe that I didn't have to shave. I didn't even have to think about it because it just like wasn't there. And I just thought that this would take like months and months and months to resolve. Even though it was gone, after the first treatment, it was really critical for me to go through with all six treatments because you're targeting your hair in certain cycles and you want to make sure you get it in each cycle so that it's effectively removed and zapped away. I say zap, that's probably not like a clinical professional term, but zap, zap, zap. <laughs> As my treatments went on, I did notice that my hair grew back pretty quickly after one of them. Up until my very last treatment, I did notice some small, small, small hairs grow back on my mustache a little quicker, but that's the thing, is like they used to be super thick and black, and now they're very light and very thin. I decided to make a video, share with you guys my experience. We're gonna watch videos of my treatments, and Nikki will also make an appearance to answer some of the questions that you guys asked me on Instagram. And if you guys have any questions, drop them in the comment section below. And I know that I would love to answer any questions about my personal experience and Nikki may come on and also answer some questions for you as well. If you are in Chicago and you're interested in going to Spa Derma, you can use my name, Natalie Craig, for $50 off and you can use that $50 off any treatment, whether it be laser hair removal, Botox, a facial tattoo removal anyone i will tell you laser hair removal was not very painful at all now keep in mind i'm getting this on my face and i would say a face is a pretty sensitive part of the body no matter the person at all and there is a different laser that's used on the face rather than on the body so if you have laser hair removal on your body and you're like um it freaking hurt 
maybe it did but on my face it really did not hurt I did not notice sometimes when she would um, hit me with the laser I didn't even notice that she was doing it I didn't even notice that my hair was being zapped um, sometimes I felt little twinges like it felt like a pimple popping almost it was definitely not like a rubber band snap or anything like that but I would say the pain tolerance for me was about a three or a two or maybe even a four toward the very end it was kind of a little bit more painful but not bad at all and like pain was my top concern pain effectiveness and cost those were my three top concerns which are pretty much across the board that's what everyone's worried about um, so like I said painful not at all for me at all like I definitely suggest doing it and it's totally worth it it's super fast my appointments would last like five minutes I'd be in out and my face got a little bit red as you may be able to see I just came from my treatment I might have a little bit of redness here and there but not bad at all throw some sunscreen over the top of it and go now one thing that's a huge inconvenience is that you cannot be in the Sun or be tan or do fake tanning while you are getting laser hair removal. If you are tan, the esthetician will turn you away. Um, it's not good to get laser hair removal while you're tan. It's harder for the laser to see the hair follicle and it can also actually really burn you and that would be painful and also damaging to your skin. So you need to stay out of the sun during laser hair removal and that's like a six month process. So I suggest getting it in the fall after your tan from summer has faded or getting it in the winter. Laser hair removal works best on dark hairs. It doesn't pick up blonde hair follicles. I'm not a professional, but this is what I read and this is what Nikki told me. So if you have dark hair, you're pretty much a candidate. But anyways, I think we're gonna cover a lot of what I just said in this video, so I hope you guys enjoy. And like I said, if you have any questions, drop them below, I will answer them. And this is something truly, if you are struggling with PCOS or you're struggling with rapid facial hair growth, this is something that gave me peace of mind and reinstilled my confidence. I mean, I just didn't feel like myself and I didn't like how I looked with facial hair. I mean, not like I had a full on goatee or anything like that, but I mean, it was just, it was something that I was really insecure about. And so some people, you know, get facial hair and they rock the fuck out of it. And I love those people and I like am so happy for those people. I just, wasn't able to overcome my insecurities in that area and this was a solution that seems to be lasting and pretty awesome and effective for me all right let's get into my journey oh gosh I cannot wait to see like the before picture I think I actually took a high-definition video of like the hairs <sighs> let's do it today I'm on my way to Spa Derma and I'm going to get laser hair removal on my chin and my mustache area. I'm a little nervous because I've heard that it's painful but I'm really looking forward to it. So I just arrived at Spa Derma and I'm getting kind of nervous. Help! No I'm just kidding I'll be okay but laser hair removal could be painful so I'm just kind of scared a little bit but I'm here with Nikki and I wanted to ask her before I get my laser treatment um, for people who have PCOS does laser hair removal does it act any differently for us or does it mean that we're gonna have different results so that's a really great question um, overall laser hair is about a 70 to 80 percent reduction give or take everyone could be a little different um, and laser hair, it's not 100% and it's not 100% forever. And the reason being is because of hormones. So mm -hmm. with PCOS affecting your hormones, um, it definitely will help significantly reduce it. It'll help kind of minimize and give you a little bit of control, but you may always feel like you see something going on. And then as far as pain goes, on a scale of one to 10, how bad is this gonna hurt? <laughs> it's actually really not that bad. So don't okay. be nervous. Um, it's pretty quick as well. I would say on a one to 10 scale and everyone's pain tolerance is a little different, mm -hmm. maybe like, a three or a four. Some areas oh, wow. might be a little bit more sensitive than others. Okay. Um, but it's definitely doable and worth it. I definitely thought it was gonna be like a seven or eight. Oh, you're, <laughs> so. gonna, do, you're gonna do great. No, okay. it's not that bad. Cool. And how long have you been uh, doing laser hair removal or working at, as an esthetician? Um, I've been an esthetician since 2007, so about 12 years, and I've been here at Spa Derma for eight. Great. gel and its purpose is to help the laser glide. Okay. 
So I'm gonna give you a little test spot so you know what to expect. Okay. And then we're gonna work our way up in rows. If you feel at all that you need a break, mm -hmm. just let me know. Okay. I'm gonna start on the right side. Okay. One, two, three. I didn't feel anything. Right? <laughs> I told you. So okay. when you feel kind of like a rubber band almost snap, uh -huh. um, that means we caught a hair at the right growth cycle. So it means we got it. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Uh, did you feel one there? Yeah, I did. But it wasn't bad. Fell one there. Okay. Woo. 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 That's a good one. Okay. feels more like a pimple popping. Kind of. Yeah. And lip and chin is a super common area that we treat. Okay. So you're more than halfway done. We're trucking along. That's amazing. Woo! This Felt those one. ones. <laughs> so you can see some of the hair that's popping out. So what that means is when we catch the hair in the antigen stage, it literally can pop right out of the follicle. Wow. It's a good sign. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do on top of the chin. Done with the chin. Woo, that was so easy. Yay. Like it was nothing, seriously, wow. Awesome. Okay, that so. Was great. For the lip, you just have two rows on either side. Okay. okay? I'm gonna start on the right. This one. Perfect. Mm. Ooh, is that a good one? Mm -hmm. <laughs> two more. One. So I'm here with Nikki for my second appointment and a lot of you asked what differentiates uh, Spa Derma from other spas in the area. So Nikki, what do you think makes you guys so special here in Chicago? Um, I think that's a great question and we absolutely are, I think, pretty special here. Um, we have a great team, very knowledgeable um, staff that's been here quite a few years um, as far as experience as well as we have the Luminous Diode Laser um, and we also have the Luminous Gag Laser. So um, it is a gold standard in the laser industry and it is effective and safe for all skin types and ethnicities, um, as well as our availability. You know, I'm here on a Sundays, we're open 11 to five. Monday through Thursday, we're here from nine to nine. So, you know, we have evening availability as well. That's amazing. pain and I'm like it's so not bad at all it's not and it's so fast people are right and people just like over exaggerate I feel like but they do everyone has different pain tolerance it's totally true and I feel um, too like over the years most of my feedback especially from people that have waxed their lip or chin tell me that they're pleasantly surprised mm -hmm. that they anticipated the laser to be much more painful and it's really not mm -mm. now waxing was super painful for me and I my hair didn't come off and I had to do it like three or four times 
much. Yeah. Did she ever lift your skin with doing it like no, that? No, I would oh do it my myself. Oh, you did? Yeah. Hey guys, I'm feeling really great after my laser hair removal. I just wanted to show you the redness um, on my upper lip and on my chin. Very normal side effect of laser hair removal. It doesn't feel bad. It's just normal and it's really not painful at all. Good morning, so I'm on my way to go get my second to last laser hair removal treatment on my upper lip and my chin area. It's been like pretty crazy. I have no hair, but my esthetician Nikki recommends that we complete the full six treatments that we originally planned on doing. Um, I have like no hair, no nothing. Like, and I mean, I saw results after like the second time. I mean, it's been life-changing. 